All right, welcome. Uh, let me fix my mic, get a little bit closer to my stupid face. All right, this is Frostpunk. I've had this haunting my wish list for a long time now. I didn't pre-order it, but I went ahead and got the 10% sale because I'm the owner of of uh, this War of Mine, same developers. Uh, I'm not very good at uh, this War of Mine. I'm probably not going to be very good at this one either. But I've loved the aesthetic. I'm on high settings, and I should this computer should be able to handle this kind of game. Um, City Skylines have, has sort of set the standard for city builders in my own gaming career here. Um, this is not as sandboxy as City Skylines. This is a lot more objective based. And I'm not sure how to feel about that, but I went ahead and bought it when I watched like a 20 minute let's play of it, and I I liked what I saw. Um, I don't expect to be very good at this game. Um, it may not be a long runner, but I am going to do a several episodes. In my usual 15 minute chunks. But I'll start a playlist on my YouTube here after I do a few videos. But I just got home from work, installed this before I left. Uploaded like eight videos today, I'm trying to burn through some of my backlog. I'm starting to gain a backlog again. <laughs> if I have any longtime viewers, and I probably don't because I average around one view a video. <laughs> uh, some of my older ones have more views than others, but ooh, this loading screen is real bastard. Hmm. Just getting a drink there. Yeah, okay, I'm hearing something happening. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class, we lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. I am seeing a little bit of a stutter. I may have to turn some settings on low. Sorry about that. At least the audio is pretty clear, so it's watchable, but... We'll see what it does when I get the game going. We bid farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. Love the music. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey. We paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Nice. Sorry for the stuttering there. I do not have the best computer. I imagine since this is a very new game, I'm probably going to fetch a few extra views like my um, Inquisitor Martyr playthrough did. I got like 50 views on those, and I'm like, where did you all come from? But since this is a brand spanking new game, I expect I might get a few extra views on these. Uh, just to let you know, a couple things, this is not going to be a walkthrough at all. Second thing... Uh, my computer isn't the greatest. <laughs> I may have to turn down some settings, so that it may not be the best looking. But I should—you should be able to play it on 1080p. Um, 
just in terms of my resolution. Third thing, I am probably uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm probably gonna do a couple hours in a, a single session of this, broken down by 15 minute chunks to make them manageable. Um, but right in this gaming session, I'm probably gonna do a couple hours worth. So you know, there's that to look forward to. Um. I don't know if this is my third or fourth thing. Eventually, I'm going to put it down and play it modded if the workshop, um, if they get workshop support. I'm going to be all over that because I, I'm a Care Bear. I'm a casual player. I like play, to play easy games. If a workshop support pops up on this game and I see a bunch of quality of life things like disable the discontent meter, I'll be like, yes! And I'll do a lot of that. Like... <laughs> Um, I'm probably going to play the Endless Sandbox mode when they release that. And I know there's a customizable scenario. I don't know what I have to do to unlock that, but we'll see. So, a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, the co our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of the other people... Are some people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world, has, as we know it, has crumbled. We have to survive. Alright, so... This is our little township. Gotta get the generator working without... We'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. I'm going to put it on pause because I want to look around a little bit. Okay, that's that's apparently my maximum zoom. I can click on individual people. Hello, Hannah. She has no home. Alright, so what I saw, like, I'm purely going on what I saw um, on a, le a different Let's Play. So I'm just going to, what is this, that's... I'm gonna do like 10 people on that. Uh, steel, I'm gonna do like 5 people on that. I gotta find some coal. Okay, these, these, these are coal deposits, I think. You know, since everybody's working over here, I'll start over here. Uh, coal max, I'm gonna max that out. I'm gonna max this out. And I'm gonna build some homes. Three. I'm out of wood. Fuck me then. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna press play. I really like watching them like burn through the snow or dig through the snow, and I think that looks really cool. Do I have anybody on, on wood? Wood crates. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Oh, I did have somebody on this one. Okay. That's fine. What is this? Stockpiles. Okay. It's a very pretty game. Probably one of my best looking. I just really like watching them like burn through that snow. It looks cool. I think it fills back up over time too. If that let's play that I watch is any indication. We're going to speed up a little bit. What is the hot key? Okay, one, two, three. Nope. Yep, three is speed. One. Tilda does nothing, so spacebar pauses it. And while pressing one, we'll put it on normal. We're going to put it on... Okay. Okay. There we go. God, I think that looks so cool. Oh, what'd I do? Okay, that's heat. Alright, that's cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn that on. Food. Okay, we're gonna pause. I'm gonna see what
see what I can do about that. Just to remind people, I have no experience with this game. This is actually one of the first games um, that I've done a, like a blind run on. Other than the Let's Play that I watched um, earlier, I think last night I watched it. Uh, about 20 minutes worth, that's all I did. I have not played this game myself, I didn't do This is a completely blind run. As opposed to what I normally do on my games. Like, let me test something real quick. Okay, it does not mute the game. I'm just looking at my YouTube playlist. Games like, um, recently, Grim Dawn, that's sort of a ARPG, which I'm experienced with, so I kind of started that blind. But other games like uh, Diablo, Destiny, uh, Styx, Alien Isolation, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, all of those I played uh, like an hour before I even press record, because I, I feel like I need to like get to know the game a little bit. Then not so with this one, and I'm sorry, let me put OBS back on track there. Okay, there we go. So I actually have no idea what I'm doing here. What is free time? Oh. Okay, so nobody's going to be working. They're all going home. How much wood do I got? Not a lot. Enough to build one more. looks so good. I wish I could zoom in a little bit further. This is the max and that's the most. Okay. Inoperative. I need to build a street, don't I? Do I have... I saw the guy build a street, but I don't know how to do it. What is this? Build street. There we go. That'll work. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, on day four, the um, temperature is going to drop hard. But I need it to be daytime so they can get back to work. <laughs> yeah, figures. Some of this I know just from watching that other Let's Play. Controlling time, yeah, I know how to speed it up. Most, any um, city sim game worth its salt better have that mechanic. Because we don't want to be sitting staring at the same thing for too much. Temperature, yeah, a lot of this I kind of know. Number of people... I need to make a hunter's hut as soon as possible. And this is there's nothing I can do about that right now. Unless something requires steel, then I might be able to. No, I need wood. I need wood for days. Uh, you know, let's I know I need coal, but I'm gonna redirect people for some wood. Alright, they're beginning their shifts now. Day night cycle. City wakes up about 6 a.m. That's about right. Yeah. 
But that's a video. Uh, that's 15 minutes. That's gonna be my first episode. I think I'll start uploading that one now because this is a single player game and it shouldn't lag it too lag my game too much. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you for till the next one. Toodles.